Well, we've got the big problem of Aaron Ramsdale. What we're going to do with him? We're going to have to sell him, I think. He won't sign a new contract. And Tunker's looking the same as well. I'd love to keep him, but Ramsdale is 33. Have we got better goalkeepers? <laughs> Well, according to the Premier League, yes, we have. Dennis Simon picked up the Golden Glove, where Ramsdale was runner-up. So that is absolutely unbelievable news that we've got him and we've also got Turkin as well. So maybe selling Ramsdale won't be such a bad thing. We've also picked up Manager of the Year, which is unbelievable. Team of the Year, Dennis Simon in goal. The whole of the back four is ours. Campos, Hutchinson, Saliba and Lashley. We've also got Eck in midfield. No strikers this year. We need to do something about that. I think we might have to change up the formation, personally. But here we go with our season review on how it went. Premier League trophy number two. Carabao Cup as well. Great stuff. Now, signing the season. We only signed four players. Endrick being a C+. 7.2 for 17 goals. I think he was a bit of a good one, don't you? Lewis Newman, a C as well, a 6.95, 7 goals, 5 assists, lovely stuff. But Luke Higgins came in from Southampton, an A. They're absolutely delighted with that. No goals, 3 assists, 27 starts, 17 off the bench, a 6.85. I think we can uh, safely say that he might do better this season. And Taborda as well yeah less said about that one the better the board a plus fantastic news winning the premier league again even with this shaky old start and those losses we still managed to win thankfully biggest win 4-0 against club bruges match to remember 2-0 win against wolves bit strange okay goal of the season matinho didn't score many this season but let's go and have a look at it shall we matinho's goal a free kick. What a strike it was. The goalkeeper didn't know what was going on in that one. Absolutely unbelievable. Right. Anything else? Broadcast. We're up to the five star now. We are the full five star, so we're worldwide reputation. Matinho still selling the most shirts. Over a million shirts sold now. Elliot Evanilson. Arvalo. An Eck. Yeah, Arvalo missed most of the season, still sold loads of shirts. Team of the year, Ramsdell in goal, Higgins, Saliba, Hutchinson and Lashley. Pretty much how he lined up. Noble at the base, Eck, Elliott and Newman, Matinho and Evan Nielsen. I think we might stay with this formation, but we might just change things up ever so slightly. Matinho, fans player of the year. Young player of the year as well. Sign of the season, Higgins, we've seen that. Goal of the season, Matinho, yes. Top goal scorer, Matinho with 20. He did hit the 20 bracket, but yeah. Also, Christian Eck, our world-class midfielder, 17 assists. Evan Nielsen, most man of the matches with 10. Matinho, 7.4 with his highest average rating. And Saliba, at the age of 31 now, 85 passes. No record breakers. Competition awards, Golden Glove goes to... Ramsdale for Champions League. Also, Matinho's in there as young player of the season. Campos with the Confacaf player of the year. Welsh young player Higgins. And also next gen was Higgins as well. So brilliant. Arsenal were brilliant. We are brilliant. Great to see in it, really. The old dynamic timelines looking very dynamic. We did go through 500 matches there we go it was in this season as well it's absolutely unbelievable next gen great stuff and manager of the year fantastic stuff right so what we're going to do i think looking at the tactics we might just change up player roles just to try and get the most out of it squad depth <sighs> I don't think we need a lot. We don't need a lot at all. I think we mainly just need to have a fiddle around with getting the best out of the players we've got. So we will have a look at all that. Season expectations. Reach the last stage of Champions League. Qualify for the Champions League. Win the Premier League next year. Well, we want to do it again this year, Sonny Boy, which will mean three years on the trot. We have tried to sell Tunker. No one's interested in other Man United and Barcelona, but feel he'd be on too much wages. So we are going to sweet talk him over the summer and try and get him to sign a new deal. Well, apparently Real Madrid want to try and sign Hutchinson. I would be very, very loath to lose Hutchinson. They're also interested in Saliba. 
Now, if they came in for Saliba, I would definitely be interested in selling the 31-year-old, but we'll have to wait and see. But one thing that we have sorted out is a new defensive midfielder, and that comes in the shape of Hoivia Kolarek. Now, this lad from Barcelona, the deal is done. He is a defensive midfielder. He can play central midfield as well. But he's just, to me, the missing piece of the jigsaw. Passing of 19, vision of 20, balance of 19 as well. First touch. He's just got all of the extra stats. If we look at Noble, yes, my daughter is going to be really happy that we've signed a player to replace Noble. But he's just a fuller version of Noble. Noble might still get in the team, but not where he used to play. Now, what we're going to have to do, we've got to adjust the budgets and all. It's going to cost us £68 million, but because we've got so much wage budget, we can do it. And in he comes a B minus, absolutely fantastic. Star player who could still improve close to his full potential. He will have to go onto a language course and all that sort of thing ask Eck to say welcome and he is now an elite central midfielder look at him in the red of arsenal not quite but you know what i mean he will be that new defensive midfielder for us Hollerick at the base oh my days we have been told by the board that we have to sell some players to sort out the wage budget now <laughs> that's not really ideal we've put elliot up for sale again he's 29 years old Coming near the end of his season, but uh, yeah, nobody wants to buy him. But we have sold one player, and that is Ari Araboa. He's gone to Dortmund, but we have got a fantastic deal with 45% of any sell-on. And also, if he has a cap, another two and a half million. We got 45, so it's going to be nearly 50 million pounds for him. For somebody who is good... And he's probably got room to develop, but he is only now a three and a half star rated player. So I'm happy to cash in, especially with Hollerick in the squad now. We've also sent out on loan Torsten Bear. He's going to Celta Vigo. We'll agree to that. Because again, another one, three and a half stars. Yeah, he just needs to develop. He needs to start playing football, ideally. And hopefully we can get a bit more cash and sell him on, maybe. And the transfers just keep going on and on. Hadji has gone back out on loan. Now he is looking absolutely fantastic as he stands at the moment. I just think that with another season away at another Premier League club, developing some more, maybe come back as a three star, three and a half star player, hopefully, because his mentals are absolutely off the scale. But I don't think we'd get it game time here with us this season. So. He's going out on loan. A player who's going out permanently is Leonardo Rapasso. Now, this boy, £80 million bid coming in from AC Milan. Couldn't turn it down. He's valued at 62. They've come in with 80, £80 million bid with 45% sell on again. So hopefully we can get this lad gone as well. Because again, 23 years old now. He is good, but he's not great. So he's off. We said earlier on about William Saliba possibly going to Real Madrid. And now Real Madrid have come in with a bid, which is £54 million. We're going to try and persuade him to go because he doesn't want to go. He's satisfied with the deal. That's good. So hopefully that will mean another £54 million into the coffers. We have let go a load of backroom staff and we've brought in some new people. So Kirsty Frick comes in. We've also got Alex Bursenlech. Another fitness coach, 60 years old, but nearly four stars. It's just trying to freshen things up in the back room to try and help us get through to do more this season. Champions League, please. This is the big one. Ramsdale, we've accepted a bid. He didn't want to stay. He would not sign a new contract. He, in the end, is going to go to Wolverhampton Wanderers. I don't think that that's really going to affect us. He's not going to a big club. We're going to accept it. Off you go. Ramsdale leaving has left Lashley not very happy. We'll discuss it with him. He's now encouraged and happy as well. So that's good news. Saliba possibly out as well. So looking at the squad now, squad depth. So Turkin is the best goalkeeper. Dennis Simon comes in as the backup. That's interesting. Lashley now a four-star left back. That's great news as well. Defenders, you know, Hutchinson. We've also got Chiotis as well. So there's... And 
Metlik there as well. So there's loads of options for defenders because Metlik is another six foot six monster at the back who we might try and get used more this season. Midfield, Campos, Kolarek, you know, Noble still there as the second best central midfielder we've got with Ek. So Noble probably will get a role in that central midfield. Tactic wise, this is sort of like what we're going to go with, I think. Not really, not player wise, but wing backs on support this year. The no nonsense defender with a ball playing defender. Deep line playmaker as before. Carolero, a box to box midfielder with a central attacking midfielder. A complete forward and a poacher up top. So that's going to make it interesting in that respect. We're nearly ready for the first games of the season. Schedule, we've done quite well in pre-season. Lost the Celtic first game, but we've got Shakhtar. Then it's Newcastle and then Fulham first game of the season. So that's going to be rather a good couple of tests to start with. So we'll go on a couple more days and see where we are. Well, the frustration, William Saliba turned down Real Madrid and we've now got Chelsea coming in for him for nearly £50 million. So we're going to accept that deal with Chelsea, persuade him to try and join Chelsea. He's content about that, so hopefully he will take that deal seriously. I, I'm not trying to get rid of him, but if he's... <laughs> yeah, if we look at him, actually, he is starting to decline. His pace was 16, stamina 16. It's down to 15s now. He is declining everywhere else as well, so it is time to really cash in on him. On some other great news. Where is he? Where is he? Tunker. He's wanted on loan. But he has signed a new contract, only a two-year deal. He wouldn't sign anything bigger, but he's gone for a two-year deal. So we're sort of happy with that. He is classed as squad player now. But again, just look at these mentals. It's just, he's such a well-rounded player and he's one of my favourites, even though he doesn't play every game. Now, looking at the old squad pre-season information, we are second behind Manchester City after that lovely, lovely transfer window. Saliba's in there as a key player, Kolarek as well, and Campos. So are we doing a bad thing by selling Saliba, or are we going to hang on to him? I really am torn at the moment. Maybe we do one more season with him? We'll have to wait and see. But as it stands now, we're on the eve of the start of the season, and I think that we're ready for it. Well, boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed that transfer window. Not too many transfers, not too much at all, but... Just a little bit, one signing in, plenty of signings out, but then we have got a lot of money. We've got nearly a hundred million pounds to spend. Will we spend it? That's the question. I don't think we really need to necessarily, but if the right player comes along, you know me, I will spend that cash. See you next time out. Goodbye.